Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at the Oregon Trail. Yep, you read that right. So this is basically sort of a uh, homage to games like Oregon Trail, except with zombies of course, because you know you can put zombies in anything, they're like salt. This is a game that just recently got uh, Steam's green light, so uh, it'll be coming out on Steam soon, but if you buy it from the guy's website right now, they'll give you a Steam key once it's up on Steam. I'm just going to go into campaign mode. I'm going to go normal difficulty. We'll just do the intro because it's pretty short. So, at the beginning here, we're just kind of standing off against the undead hordes. It's pretty hard to uh, accurately aim in this. So you have to drag a line in the opposite direction from where you're actually trying to shoot. This game also has really great music, and of course, the uh, sort of classic Oregon Trail graphics, Apple II sort of thing. And we ran out of ammo, but this guy came and saved us. So our name, of course, we will be Shade. And we need some survivors we can count on that we know. Well, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. And who would be our fourth? Well, I can't think of anyone else. So if they're alive, they'll be in DC. So there's a bit more of these little walking around sections than there were in Oregon Trail, where you pretty much just had the little hunting mini game. And now we're on the road. Have somehow Clements broke his arm while driving. Maybe he smashed into a tree. And just like Oregon Trail, it sort of takes turns and seeing if a random event happens. Now he has dysentery. Clements is a pretty sickly guy, and now he's been bitten by a zombie. And as you can see there, he's infected. Made right to Washington, D.C. So we gotta be quick to get out of the city. And Clemens gave us his journal. So now we can divvy up our, uh, we have 12 hours, you see, we can divvy up those hours to searching for different supplies. This is basically like your sort of uh, early buying stuff that you do in an Oregon Trail. So we're gonna go two things of ammo, two things of food, definitely some fuel, a med kit, uh, tires, a battery, and more fuel and more food. So now we got our survivors. But Clements is bit. So we're gonna have to finish him off. Alright, so that's the intro right there. That, you can skip that after you've done it once. And now we're really on the road. And RTM has already broken a medkit. Not having a great day yet. Stop here. Oh, we found a gas station. And let's change our pace to normal. Made the 
Pittsburgh. And then we've got sort of little survivor camps in all of these big cities, so we can do a job. Either take care of some bandits for $27, or deal with a bunch of zombies for two medkits. The bandit one is actually really hard to do, and since the difficulty on this one is suicide, we're going to skip that one. We're going to do the zombie job. This is just like the beginning. We just have to kill a certain number of zombies before they get to us. And not waste all of our ammo, but we've got 400 shots, so... We don't really have to worry about that too much. because you can't ever shoot faster, as far as I can tell. You always have that reloading meter. And when you hit a zombie like that, and it just kind of stops, it's still alive, it just means you haven't got a headshot. Alright, so we got two medkits. Uh, can't really buy anything because we have no money. However, we can scavenge. Zombie activity is high, so we're going to have to be quick about this. So this is like sort of like the hunting mini game in Oregon Trail, where we are just kind of locked to the screen and we just pick stuff up as it appears and not get grabbed by zombies. Eventually the time will run out and we will just be dumped back. As long as we don't get hit, we'll be fine. This kind of reminds me of uh, Nazi zombies a little in that you can kind of I got stuck there, but you can kind of train the zombies behind you, and just, you know. Zombie activity is deadly now, so we're just going to leave. Alright, there's a horde of zombies. This is kind of like you're fording a river. Disposition is alert, size is massive. So, basically the disposition affects whether you can sneak through. If they're aggressive, you can't. If they're, uh, and the horde size affects how well you can break through. So we can wait and see if these statuses change, or we can pick one of the two options. Let's just wait and see what happens. Alright, now they're agitated, so that's not going to work. And now they're ravenous, so uh, let's just break out the gun and clear a path, see how well this works. Two fuel, one battery, 26 food, and, well, Lee is already dead. So that didn't work out too well. I guess spending your entire life in subway tunnels will give you, make you kind of prone to cholera. Found a grave, let's see. Is it pepperoni and cheese? No. Old Mr. Cream Puff. And then we stole some scrap metal on his grave. Station wagon's not doing so hot. And then Rick gets shot. The first thing we want to do is try to repair our car with the scrap we have. So basically you can, uh, the more scrap you dedicate, the better chance you have of fixing it. So let's just go with 53% chance, use it up an hour. Ah, uh, repair failed. Well, we can't really afford to uh, waste all of our scrap failing. Let's try scavenging. The zombie activity here is only medium. I do find the system makes it really hard to hit things at a distance, though. Controls are like sort of 
side to side inverted. However, you can sort of take snapshots like that where you just go really quick, though they're, of course, very inaccurate. Alright, we found some food and $50. I wonder if that means we can uh, get our car repaired. Oh, there's no repair shop here, there's just a combat trainer. So, a combat trainer can teach you stuff like this, make you shoot faster. Suicide for five medkits, don't think so. And they don't even have any scrap for us to buy, this is a shitty place to be. Let's try one more scavenging run, then we'll have to get back on the road. The one thing I don't like about stuff spawning around the edges is that sometimes zombies will spawn on top of you when you try to grab it. Oh shit, I didn't even see that one. See, I walked right into one as it spawned off screen. Oh, we still got some food, though. How's our party doing? Not so well. I'm almost dead, Rick's almost dead. So let's use a medkit on me, and a medkit on him. Talk to Stranger. Alright, so let's head out. RTM got better. And immediately thinks he knows what's best. We are not having a great run of this so far. Yeah, take that, deer. Oh, the station wagon's not doing so hot. Indianapolis, and they have an auto shop. Twenty dollars. Well, it's better than uh, having a car explode. You can also buy upgrades for your car, like these uh, less breakable tires. I don't know if that affects all of your tires, or just the current ones. Another thing you have to worry about when scavenging like this is random boss fights where some super strong zombie will show up. The one I ran into I think was a bear or like zombie sasquatch out in the woods. Just like the buffalo, we can only carry a certain amount of food back. And also 15 scraps, so we might actually be able to repair our shit ourselves. Repair. Let's use 6 scrap. Man, we are really bad at fixing shit. Another zombie defense mission. Hopefully, we can avoid screwing it up. Apparently, not since I can't hit any of them. Got 
That went pretty swell. Forty dollars. Gonna head back out on the road. Still got plenty of fuel, plenty of food. Our team is sick again. Rick is dicking with two medkits and accidentally ruins it. What? At this rate, our team is just going to die of sicknesses. This guy will pay us a muffler. I don't know what happens if your muffler breaks, but I'm assuming it attracts a lot more zombies. Hey, look, there's the merchant. What are you buying? Don't want to scavenge here. Alright, so we're almost out of med kits and people keep breaking them on us. They'll teach us how to scavenge med kits, but we don't have enough money. Uh, so there's not really much we can do here. I almost feel like it would be better to just do one scrap over and over again until you succeed. Wow, we actually fixed it for once. Oh no, bike gang. This is a little mini game. Basically, you just have to smash people with your car. Because if they pull up alongside you, they will shoot you. Also, sometimes this doesn't actually damage your car. Murdered enough men for one day. Really? How do you sit on a hundred food? How much of a fat ass are you? Hoping our zombie activity would go down so we could scavenge in the uh, countryside here. A familiar tombstone. I think this is where I died last time. Yep. But we made it to Chicago. Auto shop. Snow cone machine. Roadmap actually, how far are we going? Alright, so we're here, we gotta go all the way around to the west coast. Still got a ways to go, and uh, doesn't look like we're gonna make it. So, in the interest of this video, I think we're just gonna uh, crank everything up to high and see how far we can get before we die. All right, so this guy's probably cooking people. I'm gonna guess that right away. Or he's just cooking really shitty food, I guess. All right, so let's 
let's hit stop. Stop here. Set pace fast. We're gonna drive it like a fast car. Even though it's a station wagon. Talk to stranger. Carrying the car because uh, it's not gonna like pushing it this hard. All right, still got plenty of fuel. So we found a cabin in the woods. Medkit scavenger trader. He's <laughs> got a good point. How do you break your legs while sitting in a car? We don't really have to worry about rationing because we got plenty of food. Let's try a quick scavenge. dollars and 30 scrap. Well, now we can repair the shit out of our shit. <laughs> Apparently, we're still bad at it. I wonder if there's a skill that lets you uh, be better at that. Alright, so we're covering about 60 miles a day. Oh, well now RTOM is bitten. Ain't nothing we can do for him. Sorry, old buddy. zombie boss might show up. You can actually get a skill that lets you move faster in these parts, but uh, again, there's no real guarantee that you'll find the guy who has that. Plenty of food. Alright, back on the road. Clementine has a fever, we're gonna have to shoot her too. Oh man, a battery. A lot of these car upgrades don't seem that useful. I wish I could get an upgrade that made it break less. Another horde. You can also hire mercenaries if we're in a town. 
to uh, clear it out. However, the horde disposition is docile, so we can just try sneaking through. Success. Another tombstone. Somebody used a tire to mark his grave. Clementine looks like she's probably gonna die of sickness. So now my health is going to drain, I'm guessing. But we found this pyramid thing. Clementine's about to die. Oh, okay, she's just incapacitated. I guess that's better than dying? GPS might be useful. Also, unlike, uh, unlike Oregon Trail, if your main party member here dies, then you lose. It's not like you can just keep going with whoever survives. here because I think we really need one. $32, god damn. I do like that they're basically the Left 4 Dead medkits. A lot of little references in this game. Another bike gang. These parts don't seem to be that much harder the more time to do them. I think they're always roughly the same number of guys, same aiming speed and everything. This guy clears up. Rick is just gonna die of being alive. We don't have any med kits, so we're gonna have to shoot them. Hopefully, he had something on him. Nope, I guess we didn't loot his dead body. This looks like a bandit camp. Oh, it's a prison. Well, I was kind of hoping that we would be able to uh, kill ourselves already, but instead we have survived longer than I expected. So we're just going to... actually, I'm not even sure if we can here. Yeah, hit, we're going to head back to the main menu. But yeah, that's the, you got a basic idea. It's like Oregon Trail, except in a post-apocalyptic zombie world where things are trying to eat you constantly. I'm going to extras here. You can see, there's skulls, which are basically uh, achievements that give you stuff in endless mode. 
but there's also Clement's quest, which I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Basically, this is if Clement's was leading the party. It would be a physics-based driving game instead. I guess this is how he broke his arm driving. Also, I don't think this uses my uh, character names. I think it just uses random names, and I think Clementine is one of them. By default. Come on. Give me a good shove, zombies. There's too many on each side. down. The only thing you need to do in this basically is collect food by getting to towns without letting it run out. Because as you can see, it's constantly draining. So yeah, this is obviously not the uh, <laughs> the meat of the game, but this is just a fun little side thing to do. Come on, get your fat green head out of the way. Uncle Joe has typhoid. So yeah, that's, that's Clement's quest. It's, you know, just another little thing in here. So yeah, that's Oregon Trail, Director's Cut. It's a, it's a pretty fun little homage slash zombie game and uh yeah i like it you can get it for five bucks off the developer site or you can just wait for it to come up on steam now that's been greenlit uh, i guess i'll put a description or er, a description a link in the description to the uh site if you want to pick it up now and uh yeah i've been shadefire remember you can always break your arm in a car even if you're not doing anything <laughs> <laughs>